Test 4. Listening Part 1. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions 1 to 8, choose the best answer, A, B or C. Question 1. You hear a newsreader talking about his job. It wasn't my ambition to be a newsreader. I just happened to be offered a presenting job after being a correspondent for a daily paper for 13 years. I'd say that before anyone can sit in a studio and present news, it's essential to build up practical experience of researching a story and preparing a piece on it. Of course, you need to be able to present in a clear and professional way, but the main job's about journalism. Some people think because I read the news at 11 o'clock at night, I turn up for work at 10.30, but hours of writing and editing go into the late-night broadcasts. It wasn't my ambition to be a newsreader. I just happened to be offered a presenting job after being a correspondent for a daily paper for 13 years. I'd say that before anyone can sit in a studio and present news... It's essential to build up practical experience of researching a story and preparing a piece on it. Of course, you need to be able to present in a clear and professional way, but the main job's about journalism. Some people think because I read the news at 11 o'clock at night, I turn up for work at 10.30, but hours of writing and editing go into the late-night broadcasts. Question 2. You hear a man telling a friend about surfing. You've been going surfing for ages, Ben, haven't you? Yes, it must be over ten years. I went to a surf school to learn how to do it properly. Sensible. In theory, standing on a board should be simple, but in reality it's really tough. When I watch surfers at the beach, the main thing I notice is how often they end up falling into the water. Don't laugh. That's me quite a lot of the time too. It's incredibly hard to keep upright, but it's worth it for the excitement you get when you do finally catch a big wave. You've been going surfing for ages, Ben, haven't you? Yes, it must be over ten years. I went to a surf school to learn how to do it properly. Sensible. In theory, standing on a board should be simple, but in reality it's really tough. When I watch surfers at the beach, the main thing I notice is how often they end up falling into the water. Don't laugh. That's me quite a lot of the time too. It's incredibly hard to keep upright, but it's worth it for the excitement you get when you do finally catch a big wave. Question 3. You hear a nurse talking about healthy eating. I work as a nurse at a health clinic and I find my job really satisfying. But it's such a shame that a lot of patients who come to me are suffering from things that are entirely preventable. If only they would adopt a more sensible approach to healthy eating and exercise. I mean, we all have to look after ourselves, don't we? Of course, it's really rewarding when I can make a difference to people's lives. And I like it that I get to meet all kinds of people of all ages and with a variety of medical conditions. I work as a nurse at a health clinic and I find my job really satisfying. But it's such a shame that a lot of patients who come to me are suffering from things that are entirely preventable. If only they would adopt a more sensible approach to healthy eating and exercise. I mean, we all have to look after ourselves, don't we? Of course, it's really rewarding when I can make a difference to people's lives. And I like it that I get to meet all kinds of people of all ages and with a variety of medical conditions. Question 4. You hear an advertisement for a game app. All Power is a brand new educational game for children of all ages. 
It began as a collection of classroom quizzes that were entertaining and educationally beneficial. But the new app goes beyond that. Parents, teachers and classmates can now enter quizzes on the All Power app and either share these or set permissions for a group. There's a team mode for group quizzes, a single-player mode, and it's possible for anyone to select quizzes created by others. Creating a quiz is straightforward, and students stay focused and are constantly challenged with new questions. All Power is a brand new educational game for children of all ages. It began as a collection of classroom quizzes that were entertaining and educationally beneficial. But the new app goes beyond that. Parents, teachers and classmates can now enter quizzes on the All Power app and either share these or set permissions for a group. There's a team mode for group quizzes, a single player mode, and it's possible for anyone to select quizzes created by others. Creating a quiz is straightforward, and students stay focused and are constantly challenged with new questions. Question 5. You hear two friends talking about their hobby of fishing. When I think of the fishing trips we've been on, Daytime, nighttime, sea fishing, river fishing. I think I've enjoyed every single one of them, even when there are no fish around all day. Absolutely. Or even when the weather's cold or rainy, I hardly notice it. Yes, that moment when you're standing in the shallow water, out in the open air and without a care in the world. It's just the best feeling there is. Yeah, for me, it's essentially about getting outside and being able to enjoy nature. When I think of the fishing trips we've been on, daytime, nighttime, sea fishing, river fishing, I think I've enjoyed every single one of them, even when there are no fish around all day. Absolutely. Or even when the weather's cold or rainy, I hardly notice it. Yes, that moment when you're standing in the shallow water, out in the open air and without a care in the world. It's just the best feeling there is. Yeah, for me, it's essentially about getting outside and being able to enjoy nature. Question six. You hear two friends discussing how their town has changed recently. I'm so glad the roadworks around the town have come to an end. The queues of cars aren't nearly as long as they have been recently. Yes. The thing is, though, there's a road I have to drive along sometimes that's now closed to private vehicles. So I have to find an alternate route that takes me out of my way. And it's not like I can catch a bus instead. Oh dear, that's not good. In general, though, it was time for them to put in special lanes for buses. Yes, people do need to leave their cars at home and use forms of public transport. I'm so glad the roadworks around the town have come to an end. The queues of cars aren't nearly as long as they have been recently. Yes. The thing is, though, there's a road I have to drive along sometimes that's now closed to private vehicles. So I have to find an alternate route that takes me out of my way. And it's not like I can catch a bus instead. Oh dear, that's not good. In general, though, it was time for them to put in special lanes for buses. Yes, people do need to leave their cars at home and use forms of public transport. Question 7. You hear an announcement about a TV programme. Do you ever feel you should be getting more sleep? Do you ever wonder why we need to sleep? Sleep is certainly a common topic of discussion nowadays. A brand new documentary explores this topic that has preoccupied scientists for centuries and offers clues as to why we need to sleep. The presenter is a doctor who suffers from a lack of sleep himself. He explains recent research findings that sleep doesn't just help the cells in the body to recover. It also clears our mind of information we no longer need and supports learning and memory. So that's The Facts About Sleep, 
next Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Do you ever feel you should be getting more sleep? Do you ever wonder why we need to sleep? Sleep is certainly a common topic of discussion nowadays. A brand new documentary explores this topic that has preoccupied scientists for centuries and offers clues as to why we need to sleep. The presenter is a doctor who suffers from a lack of sleep himself. He explains recent research findings that sleep doesn't just help the cells in the body to recover. It also clears our mind of information we no longer need and supports learning and memory. So that's The Facts About Sleep, next Tuesday at 8.30pm. Question 8. You hear two teachers talking about children and reading. I recently ordered a set of graphic novels for my class, but, do you know, I had to justify to my head teacher why I needed them. When I explained that I was basing the terms literature, history, art and drama projects on this one book, my request was approved straight away. That's why I think they're so good to have in class. It's funny that some people look down on them. I know. Most of my pupils love reading cartoons, and when I gave them some graphic novels to read for the first time, they absolutely loved them. I read graphic novels myself sometimes. I recently ordered a set of graphic novels for my class, but, do you know, I had to justify to my head teacher why I needed them. When I explained that I was basing the terms literature, history, art and drama projects on this one book... My request was approved straight away. That's why I think they're so good to have in class. It's funny that some people look down on them. I know. Most of my pupils love reading cartoons, and when I gave them some graphic novels to read for the first time, they absolutely loved them. I read graphic novels myself sometimes. That is the end of part one.